across different parts of the country. Government spokesperson Isaac Maura has today confirmed that the death toll now stands at 174. Now thousands of Kenyans were forced to vacate their homes following the floods. Warimu Kimani with the report. After Kenyans grappled with the famine crisis, now thousands mourn the losses caused by the floods from the ongoing El Nino rains, as confirmed earlier today by government spokesperson Isaac Maura during an event to oversee the receiving of release supplies from your side. Despite the stabilizing flood situation, we regret to announce that six more deaths reported in the first uh, three days raising the flood-related toll to 174 deaths. Two deaths, it's a mother and child, were as a result of landslide in uh, Gurunga village in Kiambu County, while the other four Kenyans died in a gold mine in uh, Kuruvtiange village, Bukira, North Migori County. Speaking during a media briefing at the Red Cross Warehouse headquarters in Nairobi, the government spokesperson highlighted that the most affected regions in the country include Tana River and Lamu counties, urging Kenyans to exercise increased caution during this period to avert... It's a, it's a main issue. We strongly caution Kenyans against working in mines during rainy seasons and to strictly adhere to alerts and guidelines to avert more fatalities and injuries. Yesterday, heavy rains pounded Kitui County, damaging several roads and killing 56 goats. Additionally, 76 households comprising of approximately 380,000 Kenyans were displaced. Uh, emergency response and relief supplies continue across the country and we must thank uh, Kenya Red Cross for importing two boats actually uh, to help in the evacuation. And today the National Youth Service and KDF trucks are en route to Wajia and Mandera counties to replenish supplies of food and food items and medicine. And actually uh, two planes will be leaving tomorrow morning uh, to Mandera for, uh, to, to take medicine. In Tana River and Lamu counties, the NPS helicopters, that, that's the National Police Service helicopters, will resume airlifts of relief supplies this afternoon. And the World Food Program plane, which is in Garissa, will also move to Wajia County today to facilitate last mile distribution. Through the collaboration between Kenya and the Red Cross, Kenya has received a donation of 150 million shillings from your side, led by American Ambassador Meg Whitman, who presided over the event earlier today. Partner to the Kenyan people, the Kenyan government, and the Kenyan Red Cross Society. Together, we are working with county governments and other donors, the UN and NGOs, to meet the humanitarian needs of the Kenyan people most affected by these floods. Efficient and effective local partners like the Kenyan Red Cross are fundamental for any successful disaster response, which is why I'm pleased to announce over 150 million Kenyan shillings in new funding from the United States to support Kenya's flood response efforts. As the ongoing El Nino rains are expected to prolong till January next year, Kenyans have been emphasized to be a little bit more careful with the government spokesman confirming that the government is very ready to deal with the natural disaster. Wairimu Kimani, Lukap TV, and I. Thank you very much, Wairimu.